All right, guys, three styles of deadlifts we're going to do today. What we got is Bryce Gata is in the house, Bryceology, the average Joe, the superhuman, and obviously straight across the track, camera, Black Prince, Robbie Robinson, my training partner, 72 years young, the only one that's still doing it at the pinnacle level that he is. So that is knowledge. Suck this up today. Basic deadlifts. Now Bryce has been doing this for a while. He's going to demonstrate. Step up to the bar. I go with a narrow stance. Toes slightly out. Just open up the knees and the hips. Down you go. Grab a hold. Chest up, head up. Take it. Boom. Again. Nice. There's one thing you guys may not be noticing. He finishes the pull at the same time he locks out the legs. So it is one movement. I don't want those two movements going on. Now up. Squeeze it for a second or two. Now the reason why I'm saying to show this, go again, keep going. Go six more. Stop. It's because power lifters will just pull up until it's locked out. Bodybuilders really don't do a lot of deadlifts because they believe it thickens the hips and waist. Two more up, squeeze. The reason why I add that little bit more, Robbie and I both add it, is don't waste that movement. One more up, squeeze. You're back talking down. about building muscle. Get out of there. Robbie, show us. Show us what it is like. And for the position, my feet are kind of pointed slightly out to the side, just as you said. I put all the pressure basically on the balls of my feet and my heel. As I go down into the position, I'm already setting myself up so that so that I'm in a parallel position. You can see that everything is everything is in the anatomical position. Once I look up, all the pressure is kept on the upper part of my body. I push with my heels to the balls of my feet, and I lock my shoulders back for like a that. second or two. Look at that. I let it slide off the thigh, still keeping myself in that upper back arch position. I stay in the position, which makes it easy to do the lift. I push with the heels to the balls of my feet and pull my shoulders back. Beautiful. Yeah. Look at that. See that? That's basically what you're trying to do. All the energy is driving into that floor, pushing with the heels of the balls of your feet, pulling all that muscle back into the position. Slow the line, and I keep my body in that position, pushing with the heels of the balls of my feet, contracting all the muscle. Breathing. Nice. Nice. Kind of makes it look easy. Now, I understand this. It's not an easy exercise. I understand also mentally you may be blocked because uh, you've been told deadlifts are bad for you, squats are bad for you. What I'm trying to do today is show you that what we did with an average Joe, a working stiff out there doing that 40 to 60 hours a week and how he got better. Bone density got better, connective tissue got better. He got healthier as he got older. So I'm not, I'm not saying a 20 year old, I'm saying a 40 year old to 45. So on top of that, Undeniable, 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 is that Robbie Robinson is here today because of these exercises. And the reason I'm still doing it is because of these exercises. But again, doing them correctly. correctly. Do they make your hips and waist thicker? Exactly. No. No. <laughs> it doesn't happen. I love it. I love the experts. I love it. And remember, they're your experts, not ours. No. Um, I, I will not go off of somebody that only reads. Yeah. You have to experience, you have to put it to a test. And I'm not gonna say, take our word for it, because uh, maybe you chalk it up to genetics, that we have great genetics, yeah. and we're the 1% of the world that that doesn't have big hips, waist, and you know, one percent thighs and waist and legs. Yeah. So that's why we do it with millions around the world. We work with millions around the world, and the same thing happens, like Bryce, they don't get a bigger hip and waist. No, no. So, feel fresh about that. Start putting these exercises into your program. And do it the way that we're kind of showing you. <laughs> if you want to deadlift 700 pounds and you just want to take it up and lock it up, that's great. That's what you want to do right now. But if you want to add to it, do what Robbie did and Bryce did, where you contract it at the top. Don't waste that motion. There's so much going on here. So, really, really focus on that. Definitely. I think it's it's all body position, yeah. breathing, 
contracting the imagination, magically moving your body into a direction, which is what happens. And if you keep doing these things repeated, repeated, just sets in and creates a process of extreme muscle building. That's what I've seen in myself as I've aged, seriously coming out of bodybuilding, 2001 retiring. Uh, well, wait a minute, wait a minute. Don't confuse them because you, you retired in 2001, so it's only 17 years ago. But when did you first walk on stage? I walked on stage in uh, 1975 for the first competition of Mr. World. Mr. World, Mr. 1975. World, 1975. I walked out, I hit five, seven, the seven mandatory poses and walked off the stage and walked. Yeah, <laughs> of course. It was that, was because of, that was because I had practiced all the parts that Michael and I are trying to demonstrate in public. All the people that are really want to learn how to do it correctly. So, okay. so once you get the exercise and you get them doing it correctly, you're going to do it myself. You only beat me by eight years. <laughs> My first time on stage was 1983. So, um, I love that we've been doing it. We've been doing it a long time. And also, the shirt that you're wearing, we just guest posed at oh, this yeah. show together. Um, Brandon and Elaine are awesome people. I love awesome. it. I would love to get that day every year because it's right. a great crowd of people. <laughs> I just set that up. But, but the point is that we got on stage in 1975, 1983, and we're on stage in 2018. Think get, about that. Get my point there. Yeah. Most of you have not been along that long. Yeah. So I just want you guys to, you know, like I said this before, don't be a, a superhero for a day. Be a superhero for a uh, lifetime. For a lifetime. Exactly. We're going to do a little different. More of a straight leg. I want this now is going to be the weak position that I talk about. So he's not going to use a lot of legs. He's just going to bend over, straighten the legs more, more, straighten the back, chest up, straighten the back more, more. And now this is going to be a flexibility thing here. Now just use the back to lift exactly. up. Go. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Squeeze. Yeah, 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 you want to always go back down. Don't waste the movement. Now we're taking the legs out. Now we're going to add one more thing into this. Go back down. See how here's the lever? All right. Now, hold the elbows up and back. Keep going up. Keep going up. Keep going up. Yeah. And back down. So we're doing an actual extra exercise here. Got See it. that? Now on this, you want to go heavier and spot. Pull the elbows up, up, up. Back down, go. Go again. And go again. Boom. Get out of here. Can't go as heavy. Robbie, show us. Show us, baby. Come on, playboy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Get a little extra. Oh, yeah. Hey, you guys got to pay for this, man. You're getting a shot of his arm. <laughs> Again, yeah, I'm into that position where everything, I know where my body is, the alignments that can be taken, and I slowly lower myself into that position. I reach down and I grab that bar. Reverse over hold bar, reverse grip. Once I peel back, all the pressure on my hip, my heel, my hamstring, and I just push it up. Into the body back. Contracting the hips, slowly lowering it down to that position, keeping the back flat. Breathing, blowing the oxygen out. As I come back to the top, That's hold it for a second or two. That's pretty. You make it look pretty. The back should be flat with the head up, so all the pressure is kept directly on the front. Nice. All right. So the uh, secondary there is uh, the weak position, getting it stronger. This is something I want you guys to do every three weeks or do it when you're really tired. Um, you don't have to go as heavy, obviously, to get it to work, um, but it's a great exercise. Also, again, we're going to go back to that whole mental um, portion of this is that more than the guy doing the work, the guy that's actually getting better mentally uh, takes you to an, a completely different level. Um, and that's one of those exercises where you got to take the ego out. All right, sumo deadlifts. One of my favorite exercises. You can do a ton of weight on this. Um, incredible for the glute hamstrings, the tie-in, that muscle mass, and upper back. So we're going to demonstrate it. Rice again. Open up. Key point is step all the way up to the bar. Keep your knees out. Even though your toes are out, those knees got to be pointing outward. And then you sit down 
back into it. Chest up, head up, take it up. Beautiful. Go again. I sit down into it. Boom. Now you can see the mechanics of this. Love it. Love it. Keep going like that. How do you like that, Rob? Come here. Come here, Rob. Beautiful. Keep going. Up, hold. Again. Nice, Bryce. You can see, all of it. see everything that's working. Upper back, boom. And down. Get out of there. Come on, Robbie, show us up. Flexibility, range of motion are the biggest things, guys. He's got for it. You gotta be able to stay flexible. The range of motion is key. Now with this, this is opening up the hips and everything. There we go, there we go. Stretch into it. Superhero, baby. Superhero. Exactly. His mind and muscle. I can <laughs> see it working. Yeah. Uh, it's not one of those things that you, you see a lot of guys and they're in there and they're just like so. Far. They're trying to connect to that mind and muscle. It's, it's, it's going to be an easy flow. It's an easy yeah. flow. Yeah. It shouldn't be that hard to get there. No. Um, get into it, man. I, I've talked about this before. I don't like music uh, while I train because I don't hear anything. I want to hear the weights, I yeah. want to hear the noise. The tingin, tingin um, and the and you will understand this. If, you, if you've ever been in a fight, a real fight, a street fight, you don't hear anything else. You are in your head. Exactly. And that is my approach on weightlifting. So when I'm actually in the lift, you can be screaming in my ear, ears. I don't hear nothing, man. I am in this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. I walk so, through the gym door. I walk through the gym door. Everything goes solid. I don't hear anything. I don't hear anything until I'm ready to walk out of the gym. They're like, oh. Well, wait a minute. So all my smart ass remarks and stuff, you don't hear that? Oh, man. Uh, I got I to gotta work on my game for now. 